So in my last video, I was talking about multiple parameters with methods. Um, now I want to talk about overloading a method. And what that is, is being able to use the same method name with different sets of parameters to be able to essentially do different things. This is where I left my off in my last video. I have um, a simple method called purchase report. I'm passing in three different parameters. I have an item, quantity, and price. I'm finding out the total by multiplying quantity and price. And then I'm not returning a value. I'm just displaying to the console that I purchased this many items and my total cost was whatever the total was. And then in start, I'm calling that method. Um, I showed how you can have variables that you're passing in as parameters, but you can also hard code them and just put those values right in. So I'm going to use this as an example that we could have a few different versions of purchase report and still have it called purchase report and it'll just change depending on how it is called and what parameters are being passed in. So let's keep this version as is. And I want to show you if you, you know if you copy and paste a method, it'll give you an error because you can't have methods of duplicate names. But it's only that if you have the same parameter setup. So for instance, let's say on um, this purchase report, I don't want all three things. Let's say I only want to find out the quantity and the item. I'm not going to worry about the price. So let's get rid of this and let's say I only have two parameters. Notice that error goes away. I also don't really have a total anymore so we'll get rid of that. And in fact, we're not going to have this line either. So it's going to be a, a, a shorter report. And in this case, it's only passing in the item and the quantity. This one's getting item, quantity, and price. And let's do one more where, in fact, this one isn't even going to care about the quantity. It'll just be the item. Notice there's no error now, and these will run depending on if I pass in a three parameter set of arguments with a string, an int, and a float, two with a string and an int, or one with a string. So let me get rid of this. Let's just hard code it just to keep track of it a little easier. So how about I want to purchase report first that is um, simply buying a bike. In this case, what's going to happen is it will see purchase report. It sees it has a, a one string argument. And so since there's one that only takes in a string, it will run this one. And in this one, I'm going to have it where I bought four cookies. And I could have one where I'm buying some pens, so I would need the item, the quantity, let's say I just buy two, and the price. And notice each one matches the type of parameters that are there. Let's run this and make sure it works. So it says I purchased a bike, I purchased four cookie, I purchased two pens, my total cost was $5. So the a bike, we got a little spacing problem, but that's overall it's working. Let's fix that there. When you're dealing with overloading methods, it's not just the number of parameters, it also depends on the types of values that are going in. So for instance, let's say I wanted another one that has two parameters. And instead of quantity, I want that to be another string. So notice this is giving me an error. I could have this um, string. 
and I'm just going to gather a description. So I could be, I purchased a description item. So I could say I purchased a lovely shirt, something like that, or a green dress. So let's put that in there too. And it really depends. You need it to be in the right order. So I would need to make sure the item is first. And the description is second. So let's save that and run it. So there, we're, there we are, I purchased a green dress. So that's overloading. Once again, having methods of the exact same name, but different sets of parameters.